It's Friday, I've only done 90k this week but I've got a longer day tomorrow and then at least 100k to do on Sunday so I'm just going out and doing a few miles today k's, whatever you prefer just going out and getting a bit done, just freeing my legs up again had a couple of, uh, as you know I've had a couple of sessions on Indie Velo this week giving that a try, which isn't so bad but I took Monday and Tuesday off so yeah, I um, managed to bang my knee last night, bouldering stupidly. Plaster on, took quite a lot of skin off and uh, give it a proper whack but everything seems to be okay. Kind of used to dealing with pain these days so. Uh, um, I've also got no idea where I'm going today. I just thought I'd get on the bike and pedal and keep an eye out for rainy clouds. Although as you can see it's cleared up now. I'll tell you one thing for free, the weather's all over the bloody shop at the moment, isn't it? It's still windy, but we've had like single digit temperatures up to 23 C the other day. Then it's gone a bit dank and cold a couple of days ago. Now the wind's up. Uh, you just don't know what to wear. It's not. I've definitely worn too much on that one, bloody hell, we're Austin. Yeah, quick little 55k done, can't remember what average speed, doesn't matter. I think it's 26 and a half k's an hour, now it's special, average heart rate 130, happy. Just uh, I was cramping up a little bit in my legs, so I'm going to go and get plenty of liquid and prepare myself for tomorrow, I don't know exactly where I'm going, I think I'm heading into the lake towards Coniston way. Got to try and get, I don't know, 140, 150k some, done, something like that. I'll see you there. Well, good morning. Oh, hello. You mucky. Sorry, I'll give you a clean. I'll give you a polarising. How's that? Is that better? Morning. Welcome to what is actually a beautiful, beautiful Saturday morning. Was not expecting this. It's uh, somewhat stunning. Hey, let me show you. Look at this. Gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. I'm heading over there. <laughs> I think I must be mental. I'm heading into the Lake District on a bank holiday weekend when it's sunny. Something I would normally absolutely avoid to the highest degree. But a friend of mine is up from Yorkshire for the weekend, so I'm gonna head out, go we'll meet her in Coniston, have a bit of a scenic day out of it. It's nice to get out and see friends when you can, isn't it? I'm going out for enjoyment's sake today. Um, we are four weeks from the Dragon Ride, not that that matters. I'm just getting the mileage in. Be about 100, 110k today. Nice and easy. And, well, yesterday was Cumbria, and I dip into Lancashire. Today I think it's Cumbria only. And tomorrow I think is Yorkshire only. So, yeah, one advantage of where I live get to experience the greatness in them all. <laughs> Problem solved like yesterday. Battery out, give it a lick, stick it back in. Remind me to order some more when I get home. I'm gonna need them. Or find some in the shop somewhere. That's four people I've seen from all points north. I'm only 18k in. Gotta get it done one of these days. Probably have to use my titanium bike for that though. Maybe, I don't know. Hmm, the road into the lakes is crammed. Well, it doesn't look too bad right now, but it's busy. I'm going through uh, Windermere and Ambleside. So, let's just get moving. 
I'm going to try and get on the cycle path here. There's a bit of a quandary when it comes to them. So it's fine here. Absolutely lovely. Just a bit further on, it's um, lumpy and covered in humans and dog walkers and stuff. Uh, so I'm going to have to judge it. This is one of the issues that we have with why don't you use the cycle lanes, isn't it? Like they're usually in pretty bad condition. I've mentioned this before, I'm not going to keep rabbiting on. They're not usually in great condition, there's cars parked on them, road furniture, hay boards, gravel, great rubbish, <laughs> all of that. I mean, this is completely overgrown for people coming the other way. But we can't expect, can't expect the councils to make roads wider just for the sake of us, can we? So I'm going to use these uh, cycle paths for the uphills. And then, well, it runs out when I get to Windermere anyway, so I'm going to be on the road annoying other road users. Sorry. Well, I only had uh, four horns or shouts of abuse and two dangerous cut-offs, cut so that's cool. <laughs> How dare I use the road on my road bike. You see, all the way to Ambleside, had a lovely, lovely tailwind. Don't tell anyone, didn't happen. But then I've turned around at Ambleside, started heading south again towards Coniston, and I've had a bit of a tailwind up Skelly's Bridge. Hmm. Anyway, nice beautiful descent into Coniston now. we we'll get a second breakfast, I think. half an hour early but um, does it matter? Doesn't really matter does it? I think I might just have a sit in the sun and do nothing for half an hour until Nick turns up. I said half nine, it's nine. It's actually genuinely, genuinely nice to be uh, not fussed about the speed I'm going. Sorry, I'm trying to get eaten. Yeah, there's been zero efforts put in today um, and I've still done 28 and a half k's to get here so yeah granted that I've had a bit of a tailwind so we're going to be heading that way after second breakfast going uh, head up towards Torva I mean, there's no arguments about, about where we are here Right, we're in Torva. This is Nick again. You've met Nick before. <laughs> Nick was also there on the day I set that world record. Oh, but thanks. we're out for a we're out for a trundle round around the South Lakes, the less visited area, because it's well it's sunny here, isn't it basically? Ride with mates, what it's all about. Look at this. Why do you cycle? It's just glorious. Quiet-ish roads. Lake district scenes. Mates. I've decided to go longer today. I was gonna go that way and head south and then east and north home, but longer loop for me today. Longer loop, sod it, whatever. Um, if you're ever in the area, thanks to Nick, come to Chester's to eat, especially if you're plant based, because it is amazing. <laughs> like, genuinely, best things I've eaten for a long time, and it's gorgeous. You get to look at my bike if you're. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but yeah, it's genuinely it's fantastic. Ah. <coughs> Ciao!
produce that anywhere, can you? <laughs> so, um, stopped at Tolva because we're saying bye to Nick soon. Boom. But, as you see, there's a lot of other riders here. It's not only is it All Points North, which is up here this weekend, it's the Gen Ride as well. Um, I don't know much about the Gen Ride, but it's a mountain or gravel bike ride. It needs like, it's 100 miles, is it, Nick? The Gen Ride, yeah, so. Yeah. They're all here having. Some are having a pint. Kind of jealous. But I'm going to turn today into 100 miler because I feel good and I've been having a nice, a very nice afternoon and morning with Nick with my buddy. That's the main thing. Without so having a nice time and I think it's a guarantee I'm going to hit a century today. Probably not the best idea before tomorrow, but I want to start tomorrow with tired legs because I want to build my resilience up. That's the main thing. Okay, so I'm going back on roads that I've been on again. Whoops. I was definitely going to have a shorter day than today, but it is what it is. I've been out the house for seven hours already, and I am about 40, 45k from home. Gonna have to eat again relatively soon, but yeah, it is what it is. Nice day out and all that. It's been relatively flat, so we'll do a bit here and there. Just epic to be out, full stop, really. So nice. You alright? So yeah, I'm gonna go on, pick the speed up a little bit, but not too much because I've got 100k to do tomorrow. Up some hills. Should we add the scene to today's foray as well? Not only content are we with the lakes and some vales, some valleys, dales, whatever you want. Not Dales, that's the Dales, that's tomorrow. Put a bit of C in there as well. Just had a twinge from my knee. Hmm. So I'm just going to continue to take it easy. Time to delve into my stash. <laughs> Bingo! <laughs> There's 100 miles, 161k done. I'm still not home. <laughs> All good though, I've been out of the house a long time today. It's been an absolute 10 out of 10 days, it's been beautiful. Uh, occasionally a little headwind, but not gonna let that detract from the 10 out of 10. It's been magical, absolutely magic. And here we are at home, 169 kilometers later. Just gonna have a quick look. I know I'm not overly, well, no, I'm not fussed about the stats at all today, but I'm just interested to see what an easy day on the bike looks like. Yeah, average heart rate of 132. It's been a flat day today, really flat. Um, sorry, I'm trying to work out what I'm actually looking for. Here we go. Average normalized power, 191. Yeah. So, yeah, nice, nice easy day. So, I'm going to go in, get everything charged up including myself, I need to go and find a heart rate monitor battery from somewhere. Might have to go and do that first. Get this cleaned off and waxed. Because, uh, tiny creek, tiny creek. Um, still feeling okay, so yeah. Let's bring on Yorkshire tomorrow. I think the weather's gonna be a bit different now. I've had a hell of a headwind for the last however long. You can't tell here, because it's, it's not secluded, sheltered. The word I'm looking for, it's sheltered here. So, um, but out on the road, 100 yards away, it's blowing a hurry. So, but that's what it looks like it's going to be tomorrow. Looks like wet and quite windy tomorrow. So, yay for 42 section wheels. Yeah, be right. <sighs> the observant among you will notice that this is not settled. Um, mm, yeah, there's been a weather warning issued. So, Sunday's ride has been postponed into well, postponed, deferred to Monday. Um, it is raining very lightly, but I think what I might just do is chuck some toast in my face. 
<coughs> excuse me. Might try and nip out for an hour whilst it's not bad. I just want to do something this morning just to get a few miles in. Worst case scenario, I um, I nip on the turbo later when it's really hooving down, but I'd rather be outside because I need to do maintenance on the bike. I could do with putting some, I might put some wet lube on, some uh, wet, wet little wax. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Things are a little stiff this morning. Takes me back to June. <laughs> In fact, nearly a year, and I've got a little lump in my, uh, not a lump, I've got a little sore point in my undercarriage, which also takes me back to June, so hopefully, hopefully that's not too bad. I'm only going out for a, a brief foray, hour tops, just want to get the legs moving again, best thing to do for recovery, get out and do a bit more, resilient training. Well, I certainly hope the weather changes to be bad, that sounds weird. Because at the moment, it looks great. It's actually lovely right now. A bit of direct sunlight would be nice, but... Hey, it's half eight in the morning, I'm in shorts and t-shirt. Well, short sleeves, I should say, t-shirt. What am I on about? There's definitely one thing I can say with absolute authority. 32 mil tubeless tyres and 62 psi on these roads is astoundingly more comfortable. It's a huge difference. So whether I stay with the Panaracers or not is by the by. 32s is the way to go. It really is. If you're famed from fitting, get them on, lower the pressures, be more comfortable. just over an hour, so 196 watts. Normalise, so that's cool. That's loosened the legs up a bit. I think I'm gonna have to apply some sort of cream. Wow, I really need to get my hair sorted somehow, don't I? <laughs> uh, yeah, to my undercarriage. Cause that's a bit tender this morning. Every time I sat down, I was like, mm. and I don't wanna be revisiting that, especially on the Dragon Ride, and I don't want it tomorrow, so I might try and get some on there. I'm actually gonna end this off here because that's more than enough for one week <laughs> one week's video and as far as I'm concerned I'll see you tomorrow as far as you're concerned you'll see me next week hopefully with uh, on the cold dark north ride with Toby and Katie and Shimano and what have you but I expect the weather will be somewhat biblical tomorrow so that could be hilarious I'll see you later <laughs>